Well, I can help others with my lessons learned in a number of ways. I've come up with a very simple process that I should have followed and others can follow with my help. Number one, when you're ending a relationship, you need to take the time to breathe, grieve, and relieve the stress. And you need to analyze the past situation and the circumstances and find out what you did to contribute to the failure of that marriage or relationship and find out what your partner did as well. It's like you're not going to start remodeling your house until you fix the cracks in your foundation. And you really need to do that first. Secondly, you need to strategize your life. Now, we do this at work all the time. We plan short-term and long-term goals. We have objectives that we're following, but we don't do that in our personal lives. We often live life by default. I ask you to imagine the kind of life you want and the type of partner you would like in your life. And then the third step is go out and actualize that dream, but do it in a thoughtful and methodical way. Put the impulsive decisions behind and be realistic about the kind of partner you want to be with. And I always say you need to vet your partner. And I don't mean run a criminal track record, but really look at how they are behaving in the present with their family and friends and their coworkers, how they handle financial success, how they handle health problems, your health problems. This is really important and it takes time. And it's going to take more than three to six months before you make that ultimate decision. So my overarching message is look back before you look ahead and that way you will have a fulfilling life and at the same time learn to live vicariously through yourself with or without a partner.